Hi. Fuck being good, I'm a bad bitch. I'm sick of motherfuckers trying to tell me how to live. It's been probably an hour and um, it's now 11.14 p.m. So now it's quite late. I have decided I will do one more proper revision task and that will last until like just after midnight and then you know go to bed which i probably won't go to bed i'll probably just go downstairs and watch misfits so and i've come between two choices either english or french i've been in french in a while i did english yesterday but like i probably do english again to like help myself stay consistent with it because I don't like it very much, I don't. <laughs> so, I have a number generator on my laptop, and I like French, and I kind of want to do French a bit more. So, and I like even numbers, so French is going to be an even number, and then uh, odd numbers are going to be English, but I'm not going to just do and then no. I'm going to number generate three times, and then I'm going to add the numbers, and then if it's a double digit, I'm going to add those numbers in the last one. So, French is even, thing is odd. So the first number is, this is so extra, but five. The first number is five. The second number is three. And the third number is six. Five plus three is eight. Eight plus six is 14. And one plus four is five, and that's an odd number, so that means you have to do English. Okay. Okay, so here is my English holder. It's she's thick. She's she's very thick. Also because she has two books inside of her. That sounds so weird. No, it doesn't, Adora. You're just you're the weird one. Anyways, this folder is actually in shambles. Look at that. She's in shambles. I had to tape her down. Oh, actually, I should probably get a new folder. Or replace her because this is not gonna cut it it's not i hope you can't hear that because if you can i'm going to be very angry very angry i will move so today um am i gonna do lord of the flies so will i do something different should i do poet no <laughs> no do not do poetry to this oh we aren't gonna do a poetry exam my teacher said we're gonna do like a very informal poetry exam so lord of the flies now if you've read Lord of the Flies or you do Lord of the Flies for English, you know what this book entails. Um, if you don't, I'm going to, I would say, watch, not watch, no, don't watch the movies. The movies are horrible. Read the book. It's not that long. It's 12 chapters long. Um, I wouldn't have known about this book if it wasn't for my English GCSE, but it is a really good book. I actually enjoyed it a lot. So, in the Lord of the Flies, a group of boys British boys, they're English, uh, end up stranded on an island and because of a plane crash. Okay, to be honest, here I go on for a while trying to explain the plot of the book and it's a bit long. I'm just going to give a quick summary. If you really want to read the book, read the book. Google is free. You can search it up. Um, basically, what happened was boys get stranded on an island. They try to create a society. It doesn't work. Shit goes left. People die. Some people turn evil and yeah mad if i tell the story properly we'd be here for a while it's already been nine minutes i need to do my work so just know that the book is like the themes are like original sin like barbaric i don't know murder anyways we're going to review and read slash listen to because i'm not going to read this chapter two again now let me open youtube and an audio of chapter two because i can't i physically cannot reread books i just it just doesn't work i will lose interest and stop so instead of rereading the book i get up like audio book and i listen to the woman talking i'm just going to like listen to her talk reread the chapter and then outline key quotes write notes on the quote and then use spark notes to look for themes and stuff like that i don't know if i get if i get to do anything else i'll do that but english is very straightforward yes sweetheart that's why you're almost failing uh. 
Lord of the Flies chapter 2 audio. Let's listen together, shall we? Also, I realise that they do this book in America as well, but the book is set in, the book is, is not set in England, but it's about British English boys. Um, there's not a problem with Americans doing it though, no, it's just that the woman reading is American and she says conch instead of conch. Maybe it is conch, but we spent three terms calling it conch, so Americans, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. I just like to say, if you've read the book, then you know. If you know, you know. But like the character Jack, yeah, he can go die in a ditch. In a very deep, dirty, dangerous ditch. I hate him so much. This thing, there's something about like evil children that's just like, hmm. Yeah, you just don't deserve life. I'm joking, they do deserve life. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna edit that out. There's something about evil children that just make me wanna, you know. He's like the head of the choir. I can sing, see, shut up, shut up, him. Thank you. Oof, anyways. underneath and the table and not only has it dropped underneath the table it's now going in between no what that's so cheeky i would have never found that enjoy this <laughs> why do i keep putting lip gloss on even though i'm at home i don't know it's an obsession i have an obsession with lip gloss like a really unhealthy obsession especially with these type of ones it's just really like satisfying to put lip gloss on. I'm not finished with my English work. I'm almost done. I just need to, um, right now, write a summary and write out themes. And there's a quiz on Spark Notes that you can do. You need to look for that. Okay, cool. Um, to summarize chapter two, um, okay, so. the summary themes of chapter two <sighs> it's past midnight it's like 12 17 a.m so it's not wednesday Morality. I thought there was morality and immorality. What's amorality? Search Google for amorality. Google says amorality is an absence of or indifference towards or disregard for morality. Some simply refer to it as a case of not being moral or immoral. Amoral or amoral should not be confused with immoral which refers to an agent doing or thinking something they know or believe to be wrong okay so amorality is just like there's just an absence of morality 
but like immorality is like knowing something's not okay and doing it so it's just like a child like a baby slapping you is amoral because the baby doesn't know that slapping someone is bad but like a teenager slapping someone is immoral you know maybe anyways <laughs> Barometer, 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 barometer. I believe that's how that's pronounced. Can you right click, please? Why is it not working? Can you no? She just don't want to right click. Okay, so I'd Google for barometer. A barometer is a scientific, I feel like I'm saying that so wrong, is a scientific instrument that's used to measure air pressure in a certain environment. Uh, I guess, I guess it's just used L oh, an instrument for the boy's interest and interest. Um, oh! The signal fire serves as a barometer for the boy's interest in maintain, maintaining ties to civilization as, as long as it burns. They retain some hope that they will be rescued and returned to society. But as they become increasingly obsessed with power and killing, they lose interest in the fire. When the fire ultimately burns out, the boys' disconnection from the structures of society is complete. I mean, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Um, themes of chapter two, I said emerging savagery, hierarchies, um, descent, oh my teacher loved this phrase, descent into savagery. So the start of descent, I believe that's not how you spell descent, start of descent into savagery. Um, recklessness and childishness. Not really a theme, but anything will do. And then, so cool, that's English. Well, no, I have the, the section quiz in chapter two, and then I'm done. Okay, so first question Who gets to speak at the meeting? Whoever is holding the conch. Correct. What frightening thing does the boy with a dark birthmark on his face say that? he saw at night a beastie an enemy war plane that's funny what does ralph say is the most important thing to do keep a signal fire going so they can be rescued what do they use to light a fire piggy's glasses and what happens to the boy with the mulberry birthmark when a whole patch of trees catch fire he gets burned helping out all questions right cool I feel sorry for that little boy. He was like, there's a beast. And then he died. So today, I have successfully done three, four, um, not three form, but three types of revision. I did RS, maths, and English, Lord of the Flies. Let me do a thumbnail. Is this how people actually do them? I guess it is, yeah, but it's just like... I hate those thumbnails so much. They're just like, they're just like, I hate them so much. Anyways, um, that concludes today's video. And yeah, it's past midnight. I'm gonna go downstairs and eat. Probably watch a few episodes of Misfits and you know. Yay. Um, there's probably more stuff I need to say to like fill in spaces and stuff, but you know, I hope this was entertaining in some way. This is introduction. This is an introduction to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. If you found this mildly entertaining, 
my next video I plan to be doing art so you might like that a bit more I don't know uh, thank you for watching very much and um, see you I don't know in the next video I don't know how to end videos uh, thanks for watching tune in next time on the door or like next time probably hopefully hopefully by the end of the week i'll film another study vlog and i'll actually study that did not happen but alas because i started at 5 p.m today and i only did three pieces of work so hopefully this next time i'll actually study so thank you for watching tune in next time sorry no i'm gonna steal your outro Boom. Bye. Rosie. Oh my goodness. Roll safe, guys. Holes hate under my pictures on the gram. Bitch, you better hope I never run across your man.